Jelly Bean Story Page The Silly Skeleton Spooky Spectacle Once upon a giggly night in the town of Spooksville, a skeleton named Silly Bones was preparing for the grand fun and frolic festival. This wasn't just any festival, oh no, it was the spookiest, silliest event of the year, where all the friendly monsters gathered to tell jokes, play games, and, of course, dance their bones off. Silly Bones was known for one thing, making everyone laugh so hard their ribs rattled. His favorite thing in the world was telling goofy jokes, but today, he was practicing for the big bone dance-off. Knock, knock. Silly Bones giggled as he twirled in front of his mirror. Who's there? Answered his reflection. Boo. Silly Bones said, wiggling his bony fingers. Boo-hoo? Don't cry, it's just me, Silly Bones. He laughed so hard, his bones clattered and clicked, echoing through his little bony house. But, there was one problem. Silly Bones didn't know how to dance. Every time he tried to wiggle, his bones would clank and clang in every direction. His arms went one way, his legs went another, and his head usually ended up on the floor. What am I going to do? He said, picking up his skull for the fifth time. The bone dance off is tonight, and I can't stop falling apart. Just then, his best ghost friend, Boo Boo, floated in through the wall. Hey, Silly Bones. Ready for the big dance tonight? Boo Boo asked, doing a Madeira somersault. Not at all. Silly Bones wailed. Every time I try to dance, I lose my head. Literally, Boo Boo chuckled. Don't worry. You don't have to be perfect to have fun. Let's just practice a little. I'll teach you the ghost glide. It's easy as floating through a wall. The two friends began practicing in Silly Bones' living room. Boo Boo showed him how to glide smoothly without knocking his bones out of place. After a few wobbly starts and some silly tumbles, Silly Bones was getting the hang of it. Well, almost. His left foot kept popping off and rolling under the couch. Whoops. There goes my foot again, he giggled, hopping on one leg. Yes I'm a little too light on my toes. As the sun set, it was time for the fun and frolic festival to begin. The town square was buzzing with excitement as skeletons, witches, werewolves, and mummies gathered to play games, eat spooky snacks and tell spooky, but silly, stories. Mayor Pumpkinhead climbed onto the stage to announce the highlight of the evening, the big bone dance-off. Let's see those bones shake and rattle. The mayor cheered. First up, Silly Bones. The crowd cheered as Silly Bones nervously stepped onto the stage. His legs shook like twigs in the wind, but Boo Boo gave him a thumbs up, well, a ghosty thumbs up. Silly Bones took a deep breath and started to dance. He twirled. He wiggled, and just when everyone thought he'd fall apart, he pulled off the best ghost Clyde Spooksville had ever seen. Then, with a final spin, he went for a grand finale. But, pop. His head flew right off and landed in the crowd. Everyone gasped. Then burst out laughing as Silly Bones had rolled up and shouted, Well, at least I nailed that head spin. The whole square erupted in laughter. Even Mayor Pumpkinhead was snorting with giggles. Silly Bones may have lost his head but he won the crowd's hearts with his humor. In the end, Silly Bones didn't win the dance-off trophy, but he did win the Silliest Skeleton Award, which was way more fun. He and Boo Boo celebrated with a big bowl of pumpkin popcorn and danced the rest of the night away, head firmly in place, this time. As Silly Bones liked to say, if you can't keep it together, just laugh it off. And from that day on, Silly Bones was known as the funniest dancer in all of Spooksville. Even when his bones clattered and scattered, he always brought the house down, sometimes quite literally. The end. Or is it the bone delay? Jack-o'-lantern. Skull.